Hey. Hey, they 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 gave a standing note to the Nazis, man. All bets are off. Welcome to Night Talk, <laughs> man. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's the day, man. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, it's prime, man. See, let me tell you something, man, about me. Uh, uh, people out there, you ain't never had a friend like me. Low road. See, I come through when the chips are down, not when they're up. Talk to them. Respect. When they Respect. go low, we go to the sewer. Yeah, we bring them down. You know? So that's that's why I'm rocking the prime time, baby. I feel like I should be on Yellowstone. Hey, you looking official. Look you got the tag oh. on and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt him with the t- <laughs> Don't, <laughs> Don't yeah, hurt him official. with the It's t- dead stock. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I get Carl Malone. I get it now. Mm-hmm. I get the whole, mm-hmm. I feel like. Uh, Kick him in the face with I it. I feel like telling someone to get off my land <laughs> with your bitch ass. Get off my land, brother. Now, nah, this is that prime look, man. So we'll just jump right to it, man. Mm-hmm. I, we've been off for a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, last episode was fire. I'm back. You're back. And 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 prime is back. You know? See, I, I, I came through when the chips were down. You know, uh, so. So primetime Colorado University, 3-0. and And you see who's coming around. Lil Wayne. They got Lil Louisiana coming down. Lil Louisiana. Play that video, man. Easy F, baby. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. See, I knew, I'm not going to front. I knew right then they were going to lose. Of course. <laughs> as soon as, <laughs> as soon as they put... <laughs> As soon as they put Wayne in his jersey, I said, these niggas are doing too much. Yeah, you, you know, Lil Wayne's been on point lately, but... It's, That's my guy. It's, let, let it's, me, okay, it's yeah, still I'm gonna let 2023, you cook. Lil Wayne. I'm going to let we, you cook, man. We're we not, we not Carter Lil Wayne anymore, but, man. He, he's, he's not winning like he used to. But I'm still I'm still rocking with it, man, because oh, yeah, Lil, Lil Wayne and Primetime, Dion, these are, these, are, these, are the, these are the guys. Yeah, man. I'm not a fan of uh, a lot of people, but I'm, I could say I'm a fan of these two guys. So that's the energy they brought into uh, the game. So this is the biggest thing in college sports. We don't do – we're not a sports show. We don't normally uh, delve into that. But when we're talking about prime time, baby, we're talking about something bigger than sports. Yeah, we're kicking the feet up. Yeah, 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 man. One On the good foot. He's got yeah. co- toes cut off. He's still <laughs> – that's what I love about prime, man, is that he's still – is going to come out, mm-hmm. stunt in front on you. And this is, so this is Colorado there, 3-0, and going against Oregon, 3-0. and And so the coach for Oregon saw that video, and this was his clapback. Cinderella story is over, man. Yeah, man. So, you know, he dropped he dropped a bar. He dropped a bar. He dropped a bar, and the way he said it, he had that extra. Remember the Titan stink. <laughs> he had to remember the Titan stink yeah. on it. This is Coach. Uh, we took notes, man. Dan Dan Lammy. <laughs> Dan Land. All he was missing was a motherfucker, man. Oh man, now he knew he. So he had the. Uh, <laughs> like this. I love this is what I love about sports, man, is mm-hmm. that it's the safest place to be racist. Of course. Let's, Especially college sports. College sports, it, the football field is the plantation. Mm-hmm. It just looks like that. Mm-hmm. That's always the vibe. The coach, predominantly white. I why would I not you know, I don't want to bring bring a race into it, but it's already cooked in there. So yeah. you got Jiggy Fly. Dion, prime yep. time with Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. saying we're gonna about to go into Oregon, do what we do. Yeah, he saw that and gave him that that honest, that square dealing yep. foundation, fundamental mm-hmm. brother. He, and that's yeah. all he was missing was a brother. <laughs> you know, motherfuckers too yeah. stank. That's yeah. a little bit too. Yeah, but a, a, a honest. Uh, uh, we're gonna go out there, man. Hollywood isn't gonna be. It's not gonna be Hollywood winning, man. <laughs> we didn't see the end of that tape. There could have been a hard R after they oh, stopped rolling. Man, 
hey, man, they, I know whatever he did, it motivated his players because this was the result on the road. So I didn't I didn't see it, but I when I refreshed it, it said 13 to 0 in the first quarter. I said, shit. Mm-hmm. I took off my glass. I can't see shit right now. I took off my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, at, look at that score box, too. Three quarters shut up. It was tough, man. And it was, was it was tough. Couple of field goals. You know, and he beat them. This dude, Dan, I think, I feel like he did this because he was running it up. I feel like this was payback for the Alabama slammer, like the Alabama <laughs> riverboat. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, that man. Whole, that whole thing. Was he standing on a chair? For that speech? There, you know, there was plastic chairs in there. Was he standing on one? That, that might have been a subliminal. You know what? They only showed, I didn't see it. You, yeah, you never know. I didn't see the full. Yeah, that's a good point. He could have been, he could have been on a chair. <laughs> That was payback. He's they didn't have the chair. He's yeah, trying to reclaim the they, chair. Uh-uh. See, they didn't have to run it up like that, but that was payback for Alabama. That's how. That's my own theory, you know. Oh, and man. and that's a and see, listen, I'm not even. I'm caping for 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 uh, prime, but I'm not taking anything away from Oregon and this mm-hmm. coach mm-hmm. because college college uh, football especially is is about the speech. The speech is. And he knew he he knew he had a bar in this one. Yeah. He said, "Bring well, he them said, news roll, cam- roll he, camera. Roll it, roll, roll it. Camera. This isn't for Hollywood." He goes, "They want the clicks. We want the wins, yeah. baby." He smiles at the camera. Oh man, if he threw a baby, <laughs> see, all he had to do was throw a baby in there. Then it would have had a little less. Remember the Titans little, on woo! it. Yeah, yeah, a little drip flare on yeah. him. He had it. Yeah, he didn't have that. <laughs> that was too much razzle dazzle. For my guy, yeah. so but yeah. I, this is the thing. It got it, it has me interested in college football again. That's right. what I love about it. I mean, yeah. you need you need prime, you need the bad guy. He, he isn't the bad guy, but you need a villain. Right. And the that's what I love about prime is is he's he'll take that on easy money. Right. And and the the clip we're about to watch is the post game, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah this and, is. And what I love about that, who, who talks shit after they lose? Nobody. The man with confidence That's in right. His heart. He's got you confidence the in his heart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You yeah. might break his stride, but you can't break his spirit. Yeah, the, yeah. Let's see his response from the L. Say stuff just to say it for a click, you know, contrary to what some may say. But uh, yeah, I, I keep receipts. Uh, Oh, see, but I'm <laughs> That's serious. You, I analyze yeah. and I understand what we're up against and what we have and what we need. One thing that I could say, honestly and candidly, you better get me right now. Oh. This is the worst we're gonna be. You better get me right now. I see that's now somebody. Yeah, I, I got messengers. God bless him though, man. He's a great coach. He did a great job. God bless him. He take their shots. Got. They won. I don't shoot. I don't do that. They won. Yeah, let's go, man. See, that's how, like, yeah, character really comes out in how you take a loss. No doubt. You know, and mm-hmm. it, and this is how raw a prime is. Yeah. Is that he took over a, a program that was 1-11 and 11, uh, last year. Yeah, no Takes doubt. it over. Now he's playing against Oregon, a top 10 team, I believe. I could be off about that, but they're up man. there. They're set. And, and, and the fact that, them losing was a shock, right? They had no it was a chance. Big deal. They this lost. Tra- they lost. Travis Hunter was out, injured. Yeah, you know this is a new a new team for year one, and right. the fact that people were this excited and shocked that he lost shows you who just who he is. Yeah, they put respect on his name. He's so. him. He's yeah. him, man. He's him for real, for real. Yeah. Uh, and I like that he said. Get me now, you know. Get me, catch me now. Yeah, <laughs> catch man. me while you, you can, man. Yeah, you caught me slipping once. Kick me when catch yeah. Me slipping again. Kick me when I'm down. Mm-hmm. You know, but you know who's gonna be there with you, King Loro. Let's get it. Yeah, man. You He's, know, because in the land of the blind, name. the one-eyed man is king. You dig? Dig on that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you you want to have anything? <laughs> <laughs> no man, I'm good. I'm good on hey, that. Hey, long live Prime, man. And and you know, I I think this is going to be so many opportunities cuz he's going to keep Nick Saban when he some I know they're in a whole different conference, but if I want him to go after all of these cats mm-hmm. and 
he's the guy to do it. So, yep. you know, life is really how you take a, a loss, especially when everybody, all the eyes are on you, all, all the pressure's on you. Mm -hmm. You know, people want to kick you down and, and throw you in the grave while you're still alive, and it's how you take that. Yeah. You know, you so you take that L with some class, yeah, you know. They, they want to laugh at you, but you know what? They can do that. I mean, and it's you. It's all right. Yeah, and if you're prime, you got to yeah. come in. You're not going to be humble. All that, that's <laughs> dangerous, man. Being humble nah. is a problem. Yeah. Uh, uh, and it's something at a certain time to keep you just controlled and, and looking weak. So right. he came in like that, and he's not going to, oh, I'm going to make myself small and quiet, and I don't want to step on no toes. He's like, y'all been running the plantation too long. Mm -hmm. It's time for me to eat. Yeah, he's a winner. Let's go, he man. He knows how to win. So, yeah, man. Prime, I'm with you, man. You ain't never had a friend like me. Night talk. <clears throat> this is Night Talk. Welcome back to Night Talk. We got your uh, your next segment, man. Is uh, are you feeling Dove clean and club Dove fresh? You know. Are you feeling Dove toxic? <laughs> now, yeah. Now we're talking. Mm. So we have let's let's pl let's start off with the video. The the Dove. Dove Soap has named a new ambassador mm -hmm. for they to, you know, for washing your ass. We're moving in a new direction. <laughs> hey, be serious, man. <laughs> Come on, man. This, this is serious. This is what it's about. This is the campaign. Mm -hmm. My belief is that we should be centering the voices and experiences of the most marginalized people and communities at all times. So when I think about what that liberation looks like to me, it looks like centering the voices and the experiences of those who live in and who maneuver through spaces and institutions in a fat body. It looks like making accessible spaces and having conversations that are aware of the fact that people have different bodies and that they are interacting with space and people and institutions and communities in a different way. Fat liberation looks like fully embracing those differences and having those conversations instead of shying away from them. To learn more about fat liberation and the campaign for size freedom that Dove is supporting, visit dove.com forward slash size freedom. Tap in, join the campaign, support the campaign. This is important and we should all be talking about it. Do you want to go first, first or do you want me to? I don't know. I you know what? The, the first thing that comes to my mind, do you think, do you think Lizzo might behind this? Oh, is Lizzo involved? Yeah, yeah, man. Conspiracy. <laughs> Lizzo got <laughs> Yo. She's trying to rebrand. There's some, yeah, there's an angle there. I know Lizzo might be behind Oprah, Lizzo, Bill Gates. You know, his his old, his his old freaky ass is about it. That old nasty, he's... <laughs> He he's totally, now. Anything he goes, had anything a, goes. Yeah, yeah, he's a freak, man. That guy was all over Epstein's Island. Lizzo would have been on there too. Lizzo's a freak. If she was older, she would have been. She's yeah, she's she a she freak. Got that. Amsterdam, mm -hmm. late night. But okay, look, we digress. <laughs> I don't have nothing to do. With it. I like your theory that was, though. That was I like where. Yeah, yeah, that was just man, off top. You know what? I get you. Uh, I was I'm gonna, inspired by this. <laughs> listen, man, I'm serious. I'm gonna take this seriously. Uh, for right now, I'm gonna take this seriously. Mm -hmm. She said, "Join the fat liberation." I got notes. I think they should change that name. Okay. It just just the the What's name if if fat is seen as something derogatory, you know what I mean? If you used it, yeah, it's like I never liked the color NAACP national color. It's like I don't want to. Don't call me yeah, color. If, if you're yeah. black, don't call me color. Right. I'll be. I'm offended. Yeah. So if you're saying the fat liberation, what if you not fat? Or if you don't want to be called fat. Or if you don't want to be called yeah. fat. Um, that's so it should be like Big Back. The Big Back. <laughs> I'm not even be Listen, the Big Back Federation. Or li <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. <laughs> I'm trying I'm to be I'm off at Listen, man. Okay, that's just one thing, man. The Big Back the Liberation. Back. And then two. BBL. Oh, <laughs> you're laughing, but I think that's a good idea because girls is getting BBLs and they need to wash their ass too. That's the real. So this is what I like about. That's the, a bar. That's a bar. <laughs> and this is what I like about Dove 
doing this. I know you feel a different way. I want to, so we'll we'll get to yours. But I'm gonna say for me, I'm on board with with this because there's an a a, a, a real epidemic of people not washing their ass, and, and washing your ass is a bipartisan issue. It really is. It really. It, it, and it's been a long-standing issue too. It's always since Red, time. Red Fox. Time. Red Fox has an entire the, album. The King. Called, One you of need the to wash your wash ass. Wash your ass, and it's as relevant, if not more now, <laughs> than it ever was. Yeah, there's a lot more ass than there used to be. We had a, a whole pandemic because uh, that probably lingered around a little longer because people wasn't washing their ass. <laughs> and so for Dove to say, you got more. Again, I don't like this fat liberation, but the big bag, you got more ass to wash. <laughs> so I'm with that. Dove says, hey, we're going to we're gonna join the liberation. Fat, no, I don't like the name, but whatever. Mm -hmm. We can work on that. I do like the pick because this is encouraging everybody to wash their ass. Mm -hmm. That's my take on it. Yeah, and yeah. what say you, sir? Who knows? Maybe, maybe the bar lasts longer, so it's better for a big body. You know, like that. Exactly. So she do said, they "Have innovations like that?" I don't know, dude. They, she said, "Navigating the space as a big as a big bag is a different kind of thing that we don't consider." True. I've never had. You know, I I'm jealous. I would be jealous of fat kids growing up. I I was jealous of fat kids because I was always a skinny kid. True. And fat kids was always to me that was just kind of just cool. <laughs> <laughs> like you eating good, you live, you doing. Well, you, you know what? That, that there were moments where I was very jealous of fat kids, and it was usually when I was playing sports and I would try to hit them. They yeah, just, yeah, solid, like a rock, man. And if I was you like, I've, if I had some weight, I could really take a hit. But these dude, have you ever been mo moved aside in a club? That doesn't feel good. If <laughs> you're in a club and somebody grab your hips and move, that that's not a good feeling, man. Yeah, I don't, you know. So I'm not. I don't look at big at, at fat liberation, big back federation, whatever we're gonna <laughs> call it. I don't look at that as go automatically. Oh, that's negative. You need to be skinny it's like i never thought that mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. for me even my chick she go she said if she was in the chick she'd be in the bigger girls and i'm with her on that because it's more girl right if you're in the chicks whatever right and this is a, a, mm -hmm. a black woman here a big back celebrating the liberation so the soap yeah maybe there's some they did something in the dove soap to accommodate that I see possible. what you're going. Okay, yeah, you know extra suds, and you said the B, the 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 Big Back Federation or the the WWF. I don't know. Um, no, that was bad. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but do we do we have, do we have the picture? Do we have the picture? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they, they gonna come for you, man. No, you know what, they man? Come they come for me. We're gonna party. Out. They come uh, to me. We partying. I tell you that right now. But you know what? The, I feel like this is a match made of heaven. When it comes down to it, with this, with this, um, with this. Why, well, whatever do you mean? You mean, are you right. trying to tell me that Dove, the corporation, isn't just doing this out the kindness of their heart? Well, you know, uh, this, no, this Miss Miss Bryant, uh, who the new spokesperson, um, yes, for I, Dove. I want to say Zyenda, yeah, but I'm I'm terrible at reading people's names. I was trying not to say Ziana, okay, Ziana, yeah, Ziana. <sighs> Ziana, she I wanna she say that. is, um, you know, she, she's doing a, a good thing for the brand and everything right now. But the reason that there's the backlash is because she she's notoriously toxic. Yes. And this is a match made in heaven because uh, for those that don't know, Dove also notoriously toxic. I don't know anything about the ingredients, but. Yeah. OK, but, so <laughs> so this, this is crazy. When this you told ad me campaign, about this. It was use Dove. And it washes clean that shit up, and they they took it down right away, and they were like, "Oh my god!" But somebody like published that, that put it on it wax. It yeah. made it made it past the editors. This was they said, this is cool. This is, and this was this looks like it's in the nineties. No, this is like in the last ten years for sure. Whoa, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, Dub. yeah, yeah. They they you know they have some track record, and it and it turns out also, uh, they're owned by a company called Unilever. And it's the one of the the largest uh, companies that produces skin whitening creams Ooh, in it, across the world. So they should have got a uh, Sammy Sosa to do <laughs> to do the 
So sneak. <laughs> that, that nigga was Puerto Rican and he came back Whoa. gray. <laughs> That's one of the scariest things Yo, I've ever seen in my life. that man came back gray. I didn't believe it when I saw he that. He used to be, look, he used to be a Dominican from uh, 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 the Bronx. Yeah, and then he then he went. Um, and then he came back looking undead, man, and unwell. So he was on that dove type of time. Yeah. Wow. The yeah, dove man. shack. The Dove Shack. <laughs> but, like, also, who knows? Because they're so toxic, who knows if Dove was, like, intentionally, secretly being toxic. You know, they they did that ad with the lady intentionally watching her take off the shirt. Then she turns white as if. I think know. it's all. Yeah, I think it's but always intentional. What if, what if what if they're playing a trick on this lady being like, you know, what if if we can. Th- th- this lady looks stinky, right? If we can make her not stinky. And our product is a boom product, right? Yeah, uh, man. I mean, that, that's that, that's that's a uh, that one is like. There's a lot of people who look stink. That one is uh, <laughs> that one was that one was cold. <laughs> I, I damn hey, that man. was cold. <laughs> Dude, we lo- we it's, it's a low night. It's a it's a dark low night tonight, you know. It's, yeah, yeah. You and your yeah, you you yeah. on demon time, man. We in the trash. You man. in the trenches. We in, we in. <laughs> You're in the trenches with that. <laughs> it's a stinky. I like this. I like if it is. I like that there is a womanly stink, and, and that I that 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 we can all appreciate. that we can all appreciate. Yeah, but you can get too much of a good thing for sure. Shit, man. Oh. Well, let's talk about this then. <laughs> let's talk about. She is, let's talk about the backlash, though, real quick. So, Dove, Toxic Dove, mm-hmm. for the reasons unknown, the look, the 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 whatever they're about, they pick her, and then they didn't know that she has some skeletons in her closet. She's a Black Lives Matter uh, activist. Mm-hmm. See, I, again, these little titles and names, Activists I could take. The Black Lives Matter part, them niggas owe me money. So I'm on their head top. So you don't get grace from me there. I'm mad about that still. Uh, but if she is an activist, yeah. she she activated her powers for evil. She mm-hmm. said she she said she heard uh, white students say the, the protesters make good speed bumps. Mm-hmm. And then she goes, oh, I misheard that. Someone might have said something. Ruins the kids' education, the future. Yeah. And then somebody, the internet's petty. They're low. They mm-hmm. go low, you know. We go to the sewer. What is it? Gotcha. What are you putting up there? So, yeah, this sparked a uh, a dove boycott. <laughs> that not, Ruined. That's what, that's what makes this whole shit so yeah. funny, man. So you got... <laughs> <laughs> After hearing that Dove Beauty ch- chose yeah. Ziana Bryant, who ruined Morgan Bettinger's life for their fat acceptance ambassador, this lifelong large lady, what? and now former Dove customer, <laughs> tossed out the last three bars of Dove products she will ever buy. I have written to Unilever. Unilever. <laughs> 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 You know that's some see now that's race that's yeah. a, that's racist to where you go I refuse to wash my ass ever again. Yeah. If you boycott soap because <laughs> <laughs> I get that she she did this. It, this She's is going to be love, itchy for months yeah, until she, she finds she, the one that she, works for she, her. She, man. <laughs> she she been using Dove her whole life. She's like that's the only thing This that works is where for I me. stop. I'm yeah, never washing you know my ass again. I'm throwing mm-hmm. soap away. Cause it is this this story in has this economy. Too. This story has everything in it, man. Everyone's <laughs> racist in this story. Everybody's a, everyone's then then she petty. everyone's petty, oh, and I she and she started to go fund me yes. after this. Oh yeah. So it's just that, like this is she, she's, she, she, she get, spun the block. She spun the block, man. She spun the block. Oh, she spun the block and and, and started a Zelensky. I'm gonna start calling GoFundMe's Zelensky's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a perfect segue into, into our low road of the of the of the century. Oh my god. Okay, let's take a quick break and then we're gonna take it home with a, our low road uh yeah, GoFundMe uh event extravaganza. <laughs> we're going. All right, man, let's take this thing home. Uh wow. I didn't I didn't think I'd ever be um <laughs> saying this or witnessing this but um i i would never say this but i guess 
This week, this week, uh, the low road of the of the century so far is the House of Parliament in Canada. So Canada, you get to hold this L. Um, they uh, they gave it up. You talk about standing ovation, man. They gave a stand ovation to a goddamn Nazi. Just <laughs> just play the video, man. There, there's no other way I could, you know. <laughs> this is a standing ovation. Polensky's speech received at least a dozen standing ovations. There was also one for this man, a 98-year-old Ukrainian-Canadian who fought for Ukrainian independence against the Russians during the Second World See, War. See, now the only problem with that, that's nice, right? Mm -hmm. They gave it up to this nice old man. <laughs> the only problem yeah, is... Thank you for your service. Thank, thank you for that. your service, man. Yeah. You're a hero. Mm -hmm. Only problem is, you know, when they taught me... You know, world history. Um, they taught me that during World War II, mm -hmm. if you were fighting against the Russians, you were with the axes of evil. Indeed. That's what they that's what they sold sold to me. That if it, so it's fascinating that every MP stood up. You you know they talk all that shit. Yeah. I'm you know, when I get in charge, I'm gonna mm -hmm. every one of them stood up, gave it up. To a guy that they said, hey, hey, everyone. <laughs> so Zelensky got 10 standing O's, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. I've never killed that hard. <laughs> Actually, I've never killed harder than the Nazi. Of that course. they give that no. they that they gave it up to. I haven't even come close, man. Right after. Yeah. Right? So they give it up, they go, and then the guy explained, he goes, Hey, this guy, he was fighting against the Russians during World War II for the Ukraine. And then yeah. the one go, hey, wait. Hey, <laughs> wait, then that nigga was, a, was he, he was a Nazi then. Or, yeah. we, or they say, oh, he was a fighting with the, with the SS. He was fighting yeah. with the SS. Yeah. And so with a little Google search, anyone could have found this out. Show just, but show in the moment, actually show a uh, Zelensky, please. Yeah. Look at that. Trudeau Zelensky got that dingy green shirt on. Same raggedy shirt, always going around begging for money. Well, and they're not even doing regular standing. They 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 they're getting the hands up. Oh no 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 man, yeah. yeah this was a whole different run the jewels. It was stick them up, take the money, <laughs> and give it up to this fucking. This guy's been going around doing this GoFundMe begging shit, and he's a Jew. He's of Jewish descent. Where's the uh uh uh. uh what anti-Semitic defamation league? What is it? ADL? The I don't know. You don't know about the 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 no, league they, that got mad at. Um, it's the place of Simon Wiesenthal Center for Jewish Rights. Not and, that one. It, it, it's it's the ADL. Uh, God, I'm such an asshole. They're gonna get me for this. But they'll let <laughs> this nigga off the. Chair. You know what I mean? That's they the who the anti-defamation uh, league. Okay, okay. The okay. anti-defamation <laughs> league made a uh, uh, Jamie Fox. Goddamn apologize right. for saying they killed Jesus. What you think they would do to me? <laughs> so he had to apologize and, and, and make that right. And they gave this guy a standing ovation. Right. Uh, they go, who, Dino, who is this guy? You can show him, man. This is his old yearbook photo. Z Zelensky joins Canadian Parliament's ovation, the 98-year-old veteran who fought with the Nazis. Mm-hmm. The man was part of the SS. What does that say? Can't see it from here. The man was Galicina. a part of the SS Galicina, a unit whose history has been whitewashed by veterans and the groups in the West. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So according to many, many different sources, Homeboy was a Nazi, man. And and so this is where we're at to, to the point to where you, you would accidentally give it up to a Nazi in your in your parliament right i want this remembered man because canada you all, always had the moral high ground on the states you we, know we play that anyways yeah we yeah, yeah you, you, you were able to play it we, were, we, we we we've been able to play it but you, you ready for a cold fact yeah yeah cold man. fact because you know to me again this Talk might this neighbors. might be a little conspiracy might just be a little game recognized game moment because Canada residential schools started in the 1830s, 1840s. 
This is almost 100 years before the Holocaust and uh, over 100 years before apartheid. It's been cited that the Holocaust and apartheid were actually modeled after Canadian and American, North American oh, residential so school systems, right, the, we started the re reservation shit. systems, yeah. how to round them up, kill a whole bunch of them, take control of the entire population. They looked up to us for that shit. Right. The, the 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 Nazis, all of them, they loved us. They were like, you did it right. That's how you make a country white as white can be. Hey, that theory doesn't sound crazy. I mean, because they, they seem to get yeah, man. the guy's been a, they, they said a Ukrainian, a Canadian hero. Right. So he's he's been embraced in Canada right. uh, mm -hmm. this whole time. So we, we probably said, come on over after right. he fought. Yeah, yeah, Who this is a good place for you. Look yeah. what we did to look at our history. Look what we did. Don't tell nobody, but look what we did. You know, I mean, shit, man. Yeah. That that you know the 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 other <laughs> sick thing about this is if no one said nothing, they wouldn't have said nothing. Mm -hmm. think, of, think about that. So if no one said anything, they would have just gone around. They would have mm -hmm. said good. Just they're they're really trying to like 1984 us and, and rewrite <laughs> that these Nazis are good. Mm -hmm. And th this mm -hmm. is my main problem with it. Cause mm -hmm. this is the thing they think that uh, we shouldn't give a shit about this. I think that they think black people should just be cared about racism. Well, it's been a slow week. Okay. <laughs> I've had time. <laughs> I've had the time. There's nothing racist happened to me. So I had time to, yeah. to look into this thing of, I knew this. I knew that Nazis were bad. J Jordan, mm. did we record an episode of Night Talk in in March of of last year where we talked about the good Nazi? Do you remember this at all? We talked about the Azov Battalion. Vaguely. Oh, I remember the Azov. I remember that. Episode. You remember the truckers when they called the truckers Nazis? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And those were bad Nazis. Right. But these are good Nazis. Well, they fought in the war, do you know? Against, <laughs> against the, the, so they're part the, of the good great generation, guys. You know? and the Jews <laughs> like that. That's the pro that's what I'm saying. That's always been bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. you if you taught me that was always the worst guy was a, the worst villain was a Nazi, mm -hmm. and then okay the Nazis went away somehow, but they popped back up during the truck convoy when people were trying to get free. So those Nazis aren't cool, but then you give this not like the most. This is the most old school. Not this isn't like the soup Nazis or the, yeah, that guy's a Nazi. He don't let you do nothing. This yeah. isn't a metaphorical. It's not the sandwich Nazi over in Delta. It's nah, none of that. man, yeah. this is the real a uh, 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 life thing guy doing it, and you give him a standing fucking O. Yeah, Th this is this is so insane, and they go, oh shit, hey, we didn't know. So when they uh. They they said they didn't know. So every MP that stood up and and didn't no one sat no one like I get it. You're in the vibe. You just like hey whatever. You're not listening. <laughs> it's another Tuesday. Yeah 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 uh, yeah. It's just you just there's showing. already been ten standing O's. Right. It's ten. This is what's another yeah, one. Old piece of shit we're clapping to today again. All yeah. Right. What's yeah. another one? And then they go. They they go, man, this guy, man, he was fighting the Russians. They go, yeah. Woo, we hate the Russians. They go, yeah. the world <laughs> and they go, out of it, like, wait, wait. Wait, what? Wait a minute. <laughs> Whose side was he on? Yeah. Well, oh, he was with the, the Hitler and them, but that's not important to Russians. Yeah. So, you know, they got me started, man. <laughs> they got me on the case. This is, I'm not laughing yeah. at what the atrocities and all that. I'm laughing at Canada for, you got to hold this L, man. Mm -hmm. Every single one of those MPs that yeah. stood up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they made the House Speaker apologize. Um, oh. You want to play that video? Yeah. So, the, the, and they did this on Yom Kippur. I wish to apologize to the House. <laughs> Stop playing no with me. Stop playing with you, me. My fellow parliamentarians <laughs> or Ukraine, the Ukraine delegation was privy to my remarks prior to their delivery. That's crazy to say that in that outfit too. To make an apology <laughs> in that outfit, like, hey man, I don't even, I didn't even know this. Someone told me that the nigga was cool and then I just brought him, man. I told him to pull up. I told him to pull up, but I didn't, what? The homie vouched for him. Yes, so. We, we've, all, we've all been through that. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just base my goddamn beads. I, I tell you, man, if it's one thing, brother, hey, hey, this thing got me wanting to go Yellowstone, man. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever yeah. that is. Blame Canada. I want to, yeah, UK, libertarian. Motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to move to the mountains, brother. Just give me some land. Mm-hmm. You get the hell off my land, man. You leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> With this bullshit. Hey, you got the hat. <laughs> I'm taking it back. <laughs> Let's go, yeah, man. man. Yeah, Yay. Nice just... talk, man. Uh, I'm glad to, to have you back on it. Glad yeah, to man, be back good with, the, times, man. with the crew. Jordan's about to hit the road, man. Safe travels. Thank you, my man. Turn it up. Have a good time, man. And yeah, when you get guidance. back, we'll get back to doing the Lord's work. Subscribe, share, like, talk some shit. If you don't like it, please hate. Yes. Hate, hate, hate. Let us know. Let us know, man. Let it us know what. Us up. Yeah, yeah. But you responded. <laughs> it does. We we thrive off hate, so we appreciate you. Um, Sometimes it's too much love out here. You just gotta, you know, balance. Up. That's right. That's right. Balance. But as I always say, if you find someone that loves you, hold on to them because no one gives a shit about no one. Mm-hmm. Signing off, baby. Respect. <laughs>